This exotic is very good. It's incredible. You can do things with it that you simply can't do with others. And I've seen some comparisons to Dragon Shadow, so it is appropriate to do a direct comparison to Dragon Shadow today. I'm going to show you exactly where and how it's different, where to use it, how to use it. And the goal isn't to say, oh, speed loaders are just so much better or Dragon Shadow is so much better. The idea is more so in some cases, they are definitely better. Other cases, not so much. So we need to talk about utilizing them. These do have PVE and PVP capabilities. I'll show you that too. But before we do, in your spare time, do you want to earn some extra cash, gift cards, and more? Of course you do. Pinecone is a sponsor of today's video, and they have you covered. Pinecone is a company that asks and pays people to give feedback about products and brands. They're a top product review site. I'm using Pinecone. It's legit. It's really cool. It's invite only, and my link down below is your only way in. Once you're in, you're in. Start getting rewards. They pay more than other companies, too. With the surveys you complete, completing tasks, you earn points for each study, and it only takes a few minutes of your time. Like, think about all the time we spend on our phones, maybe on a break, have some downtime. That's a perfect time to do them. I usually do them while waiting at the tower while people are getting gear ready. Your feedback's taken and have an influence on which products make it to stores. They have exclusive opportunities, a guaranteed payout amount, and there's even opportunities to test and review products. And what's cool about it, some of you have reached out to me, it's working, by doing these surveys. And as time goes on, you get the season pass for Destiny. Make them longer, even the yearly DLC. Like right now, I have some done, have some ready. And right there's the season pass. There's other cool rewards too. Magazine subscriptions, gift cards, pressure cookers. One of my favorites, Traeger pellets for my smoker. All the way to a soundbar system, so don't miss out. And thanks again, Pinecone, for sponsoring this video. Click my exclusive link down below at the top of the description to start earning cash on Pinecone. The speed loader slacks. The way you move in those makes me self-conscious. Pretty accurate. The exotic perk is tight fit. Dodging boosts reload speed, handling, and airborne effectiveness for you and nearby allies. While the buff is active, final blows and additional dodges increases the buff's strength and refreshes the timer, maxes out at times five. Lots to unpack here. There are key differences between Dragon Shadow and Speed Loaders. Depending on how you play, what you're doing, one will be better than the other. Like Dragon Shadow, it starts with a dodge. Nothing fancy like Wraith Metal Mail, that text on screen. It's just like a generic great value stat boost. Which, by the way, Bungie, let's change that. Make it at least a tight fit. That makes sense. After you dodge, the perk is up for 15 seconds. Counts down to double zero. And in this time frame, you gain a stack. To get a second stack, you need to dodge again, or you need to get a kill. You do one of those two things in the time frame. You go to times two, and then it's on all the way up to times five. So we have bumps to handling. We have bumps to airborne, bumps to reload. And on screen, I chose a weapon with poor base reload and handling to see where it goes. The round robin with its base stats for handling and reload. This is the handling part of aiming down sights. We have base on the left, times one, going to the right of your screen, all the way to times five. It's kind of seeing on the aim down sights front, the handling front of what that's doing. And with the stats that I'm getting ready to show, I got something a little bit different than what's been seen or said. Just know that this and what you've seen are very close, like right there. And then we'll put up Dragon Shadow stats to compare. So speed loaders, we have a handling times one all the way to times five. So it starts at 40, then 45, 50, 55, 60. Reload, same deal, all the way to 60. Now the AE, you dodge, you get plus 30 AE. Times five is 50. And exclusive to it is a reload scaler. Dragon Shadow, you dodge, plus 50 mobility, 100 reload, 6.25% sprint speed, 33% slide distance. Exclusive to it is a handling scaler. Now, simply put, what this means, speed loaders, we'll go back to the ADS of the round robin. There are some clear changes in each stack. Each one is giving handling because it's so low. This is getting up until like 82, not quite 100. Regardless, big changes for it. But now let's go to reload. And here's the big deal about the speed loaders. Side note, the base reload for round robin is painful all the way on the left, but just the jump from base to times one is huge on a weapon like this. I'm gonna bring this back up later. A key difference between Dragon Shadow and Speed Loaders on the reload front, in a shocking turn of events, the Speed Loaders have a reload scaler. Go figure. But the scaler is actually pretty massive for it. So when you dodge, it applies that first plus 40 points of reload and also applies the first part of a scaler, making it a little bit faster than plus 40 reload. So when you take something like Exalted Truth, this was another test, I put exactly 60 reload on it, meaning that once I dodge, the plus 40 gets it to 100. And at this point, we've matched Dragon Shadow. Just the times one stack, we have 100 reload, but with that scaler, when you place it side by side with Wraith Metal Mail, you see the animation scaler is gonna be faster. And that's just at times one. It gets even faster than that. So at times five, it's got the max applied scaler to the reload. And this is compared directly to Dragon Shadow on the right. It is that much faster. I tested it on multiple weapons. Things like Elemental Capacitor 100 reload with alacrity. Dragon Shadow versus times one and then times five speed loaders. 
Speed loaders are always going to be faster. Test it on Igneous and others. So that's what you can take away. Speed loaders are always going to have the faster reload. Like if your weapon has 50 to 60 base, just by dodging, it's going to match the reload of Dragon Shadow. If it's lower, like 30, 40 reload, it's going to be close because it does have the scaler to help make up. But once you get a times two, it will surpass what Dragon Shadow gives to any weapon. Then we have the handling. It does have some healthy bumps to handling and handling is your aim down sight speed. It's also your stow and swat speed. Speed loaders are never going to be Dragon Shadow on this front, period. With the swap speed, with Dragon Shadow, the scaler takes over. So even if you get to 100 handling with speed loader slacks, like right here, going in between weapons, like that's just plus 60 to the stat. So if it has, you know, it could get to 100 handling, but with Dragon Shadow, no matter what, because it has the scaler, it's going to beat it just flat out. Same thing with aim down sights. And that's something I didn't know. It's not just a dexterity scaler for Dragon Shadow. There's also a small aim down sight scaler because I tried multiple weapons and at times five, where I know I'm getting to 100 handling with speed loaders, Dragon Shadow always beat them all by a frame or two. That makes sense. It also has an animation scaler on the aim down sights front of handling. But not to get twisted, like the speed loader aim down sights, stow and ready is fine. It is a big jump plus 40 to your handling. A lot of them will get to 100 out of the gate. It's gonna kind of stick there. And like, again, going back to round robin, like it does make a difference as you start getting those up. It will on all your weapons. No matter what, in the end, speed loaders will have a faster reload than Dragon Shadow. And no matter what, in the end, the Dragon Shadow will stow and swap better. And yes, like if you put on the Gunslinger on your mark, that does stack with speed loaders times one to times three. So that handling and reload speed is even faster than what times five speed loaders can give. So when you look at Dragon Shadow, it's great gains in a time frame. You're gonna dodge, you're gonna get all those things, the plus 50 mobility, the slide distance, the reload, the handling, the sprint. Dragon Shadow lasts for nine seconds. And with what I'm getting ready to talk about, all my tests, I did one utility kickstart and tier 10 mobility. So with Dragon Shadow Gambler's Dodge, once Wraith Metal Mel is over, there's about 10 seconds of dead time where you have no buff, no handling, no sprint, no nothing. With speed loaders, just the times one stack, when that stat boost is gone, you have five seconds before you can get another buff. This is with Gambler's Dodge, the longer dodge for melee. Now with Marksman Dodge, this is the reload dodge. It's significantly faster. With Dragon Shadow, when Wraith Metal Mail is over, there's five seconds of downtime. But with speed loaders, there's only one second of downtime, meaning it is a lot easier to loop speed loaders. And this is what I do recommend, especially in the Crucible and in PVE. I'll get to that later because we do have Reaper on the class item. After you use your class ability, your next final blow will drop an orb. So, so in this case, you're going to dodge. Utility Kickstart is going to give a little bit of class ability energy. It lasts a long time. You have about like eight to 10 seconds to find your target to down them. When you do that, you're going to pick up an orb. You're also going to have on insulation. Reduces class ability cooldown each time you pick up an orb. So this combination of utility kickstart picking up this orb will allow you to loop it. So you're going to dodge down an enemy that will be at times two, pick up the orb as it's counting down. You're going to dodge again. They're going to be at times three and then you do it one more time and it's at times five. And that is a big core main difference between the two. And you've been seeing some times five streaks in the background gameplay like Dragon Shadow has downtime with speed loaders. It is meant to be aggressive. You have those 15 seconds between stacks. If you can get kills, if you go on little sprees or if there's orbs that you can pick up dodging, keeping that stack alive, you're going to be running around with really high handling. Some of the best reload you can get just period while being able to move around, not being behind a barricade or whatever, and you just go slay out. But the last part is one of the more important things about the speed loader slacks. It's the AE part. The AE is there if you choose to use it. In all this gameplay, I'm on strand using Threat of Ascent, and that's gonna give handling and AE when you use your grapple. So dodge giving plus 30, then using the grapple. In no time, you're at 80 airborne on specials and easy 100 AE or close to it on primaries. This part of it, obviously, Dragon Shadow definitely cannot do. Just by dodging, you get the easy plus 30 AE. Max stacks is plus 50 AE. And they changed that airborne system. It's a lot better when you get that AE stat way up there. And 100 is basically, you're on the ground pretty much as far as your accuracy. And in a lot of these clips I'm sniping, crazy good with speed loaders from the air, but it isn't just sniping. Some are inherently good from the air, like sidearms. And those coincidentally also have a pretty good AE stat. There's fusion rifles, there's hand cannons. And the point is with speed loaders, you're getting the AE up there, way up there a lot. It's there to use it if you want to or need to. Like in a perfect world, it's something you do utilize with these. You're going to be chaining kills. That's what it wants you to do. Getting a great reload with the scaler, well above average handling, feeling a lot more snappy than you are at base. Even though there's no scaler on the handling, it still feels nice. You have this big chunk of AE to use. 
that's where it shines. Take those shots from the air if you want to or need to. And in a lot of cases, if you do, like you've seen me at 100 AE, like if the opportunity is there to take an angle, you should do it. That's why you're running these things. Dragon Shadow can't do that. Like in a lot of gameplay, I have keep away on round robin. That perk has a reload scaler too. That stacks with the times five of speed loader. So when this thing reloads, when you're just running around mowing everything, it doesn't even look like a 120 is reloading, right? Very fast. And that's what this thing's all about. And before I talk about the small section for PVE, the scenario, like the main thing to consider, like speed loaders are going to have the best reload. Most of the time, times two will surpass Dragon Shadow no matter what. If it's 60 or above, just by dodging, it will surpass what Dragon Shadow gets. It will get you high handling, no scaler, but it's going to feel good. It's going to give you high AE. Dragon Shadow has these bursts of max stats for handling and reload. The handling scaler for swapping, the sprint, and slide distance. And those bursts of 9 seconds. There could be times where there's 8 to 10 seconds where you don't have that buff. 4 to 5 if you're on Marksman. And that's kind of the choice. Speed loaders can just be up indefinitely if you're slaying out with them. Dragon Shadow can't do that. Both of them do great things, and that's your choice. They do things a little bit differently than the other. One's reload and AE. The other one's slide, sprint, handling. It's going to be up to your play style if you're going to utilize it. For PvE, obviously, huge difference. Like a perfect example on how you want to use these, where the situation comes up. Like, first of all, let's bring back the reload of round robin from base to times one. Big difference. Plus 40 reload in a scaler. This is to a low reload weapon. Where speed loaders are going to come in, like think about a damage phase in a particular way. Let's say you're on Hunter, you're on Nezerak. You aren't doing Star Eater. You're on Night Stalker to tether debuff. That's your job for the damage phase. If you have on speed loaders, ideally in a perfect world, you're going to be killing adds and then be at times five when everyone gets on the plate. Because when you dodge, you will transfer times five to everyone on that plate. For 15 seconds, everyone has that essentially max reload with a reload scaler for their weapons while they're doing DPS. And what's going to happen, a well will be dropped. There's going to be three orbs on the ground. You're going to pick them up. You have on insulation. So reducing your class ability each time you pick up an orb of power, you're going to be able to loop it or get very close. Worst case scenario is you look off to the left where the adds are and down one. You're going to have high AE. Maybe you jump in the air and snipe them real quick to rebuff to times five for your entire squad. And let's say a Titan pops a rally barricade in front, like the more the merrier because it all stacks. Like that's where the speed loaders are going to come in. That's a perfect world. But even if it's just a times one stack, Say it went away, like you're going to get on that plate, you're going to tether, you're going to dodge, everyone's a DPS, everyone's getting plus 40 with a reload scaler. There's still going to be the orbs on the ground. You should be using marksman dodge because it's the shorter dodge, the one that you can loop that we talked about earlier, but that's something to think about. That's where these are in play. And again, obviously, Dragon Shadow can't do that. The base setup to loop it, max mobility, 100, marksman dodge, utility kickstart, insulation. Dodge, get a kill, pick up orb. As it's counting down to zero, dodge again. You're going to be at times three, do it again, you're at max stack. Then it's just, again, it's up indefinitely as long as you can keep that chain going. That's a big core difference between Dragon Shadow and speed loaders. These are good. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Let's talk about speed loader slacks down below. What are your thoughts on them? Tell us about it. Thank you for watching. And until the next one, I am Cool Guy.